Hello everybody, Sherman, Leave a Legacy, episode 15, The Grind. Now, I know a lot of times people will misconstrue this one where they say, oh, the people talk about, you know, busting their hump, working till midnight on, you know, on a Friday night, and I don't think that that's good effectiveness. Look, when it's all said and done, your hours of effectiveness, that's what matters, right? It's not about the time that you sit in front of a computer screen or the time that you sit in, front, in, in, in meeting after meeting. The most important thing is, are you doing those activities? Are you doing those tasks that actually drive business? At the same time, recognizing that there is a necessary amount of hard work, hustle, grind. Um, the luck you get is typically based on how much work you're putting in. If you're always out there pitching, talking, guess what? You're going to get in front of more opportunities. That's just how it's going to end up passing out for you. Um, and so it's understanding that those that put in the time 18 hours a, um, a week, or excuse me, 18 hours a day for a week are gonna find that after about five years, they don't need to work that many. Maybe now it's down to 10, maybe that's down to eight, and eventually, probably by the 10th year, they're working 30 to 35 hours to get the same amount of outcome, same amount of revenue that they did their first year, and they're working half the time and taking more vacation. It's the sacrifice that you put as an entrepreneur in the front end that's gonna allow you to have the freedom on the back end. Typically, most entrepreneurs are attracted by three eyes. Income, they want to control it. Two, independence. They want that work-life balance, whatever that means to them. And finally, number three is they want to have an impact. And again, for every entrepreneur, I'd say of those three things, income, independence, and impact means something different to them. And so there's no need to judge what any other, other person is trying to get as they pursue their success. Just identify for yourself what is that exit number or what is that exit work-life balance or impact, what does that look like for you? And then put in the effort and the activity to get out of it. So for you, what are some of the things that you do in your grind to continue to pursue that success?